in fact, uh, I studied a lot of uh, mathematics and applied mathematics for economy, uh, energy, transport, uh, and also uh, construction. And when I ended my, my study, my father was, cons was constructing, uh, was building the, 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 the food bridge of peace in mm -hmm. Korea. I don't know if you know the, yep. Seoul. the, the heart yep. Yeah, yep. in Seoul. And it was uh, the first time that uh, Ductal, uh, Ductal, uh, the USBC Ductal uh, was used uh, for, for a bridge. And uh, at the same time, I was diploming. So he told me uh, it could be of great interest if you if you take a look at this. And eventually, three or four years later, we had some project dealing with this kind of structure. And we, we realized that uh, this material could be used in structural language but also in the envelope. All the more so if the, the, the atmosphere is uh, increasingly uh, aggressive. For instance, here in Marseille, salt water is very aggressive. Uh, as an example, we, when we will make a round on the side, you will see that even the, the, the stainless steel are, are rusting. We found a very, uh, 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 very accurate uh, point of view that uh, this concrete and this atmosphere are getting very well together and we need to study it. A good fit. Yeah. Consequently, this, materials, this material uh, is very thin, very compact, and these properties of uh, long life of durability goes with architectonic uh, mm -hmm. potential expressions, expression, yeah. performance. The whole conception we are dealing with and the way we are working is to 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 to, to gather the whole layer, the whole constructive layer on one constructive uh, element and uh, how do you say uh, act and uh, action. action. Yeah. For instance, uh, the, the Zombra Stadium, the, the envelope is made of uh, UHPC uh, panels, but this panel uh, includes all the, 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 the constructive steps in, in one action. Uh, secondary structure, yeah. architectonic uh, mm -hmm. skin, skin, yeah, skin, the glass, mm -hmm. the, uh, the water tightness, mm -hmm. and the drainage is a very, it's, it's a clue element uh, mm -hmm. to 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 for an envelope. It's a very uh, high level inter interface. In fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since we don't have any assembly here, the, the whole structure is, the, the whole element is very simple. Yeah, it's just real different. So the cost okay. uh, yeah. is down. First, it's very difficult to, to, to include a project uh, nearly at the end. So we need to be the very beginning, and it's, it's also mm -hmm. obvious, but it's, yeah. uh, right from the it's beginning. often mm -hmm. that uh, architects 
uh, have an ID <laughs> nearly at the end. So the um, the iterative conception between a structure engineer and the architect is not possible at this moment. So since the, these materials can deal with structure and envelope, we need to 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 make it a iterative comparison yeah. uh, at the very beginning. We need to, 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 to conceive the way to, to mold, the way yeah. to fill the form, yeah. and the way to, to assemble. Yeah. The, the limitation factor is not the compressive strength. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the, the real limitation factor is the, the, the effort that you make for for a good conception, including the whole chain. Mm -hmm. 